Can you make a call for me? I need some help. Can you guys make a call for me? I do telephone and internet contract installations in the city. I'm working downtown today in one of the new office lobbies, installing the wiring for the new fiber internet connections. That really wouldn't matter except I'm working really late trying to get this done as I promised my boss I would have this done by tomorrow. I spent too much time flirting today with the cute receptionist instead of actually working. My bad, but if you saw her, you couldn't blame me. One of the things I have to do is shut off all the communications to the building to do this. Standard procedure. While I set up all the hubs, normally this isn't a problem as I can usually either go outside and toggle it myself or just call HQ and have them turn it back on to test if I can make ingoing, outgoing communications. This isn't normal though, because about 10 minutes ago, I dropped my phone into my coffee. And now the microphone doesn't work. I swear I'm not a klutz, and I had a really good reason as to why it dropped in my coffee. There's this guy, outside. He's really kinda lanky and I can't really make out much of his face from the lights from out on the street. He's acting strange though, and he's staring at me. Well, he was staring at me. I didn't even notice him at first until I looked up from my phone. Yeah, I was texting that receptionist, and he made me jump when I saw him. Yep. Into the coffee my phone goes. That's not what's creeping me out though. I'm used to drunks and other people of the night. I've worked in the city for a while and can handle myself in a fight. But I don't think this guy's a drunk. Now he's kind of... dancing. He started once he saw I noticed him. Not like waltz or shit like that. More like a jerky, twitchy robot dance. I don't know if you would even call it dancing, really. I've never seen someone dance like this. It's like he's using his elbows instead of his hands, trying to hug the glass. And he's moving back and forth, balancing on his knees. It's kind of unnatural, if you ask me. He's just kind of staring into here. At least I think he is. I haven't been able to make out his face. I can't call the police from in here. And I don't know what might happen to me if I go outside. You see, the problem is, I don't know which is worse. The fact that he knows I'm here, alone, or the fact that I'm on the second floor.